the play of this Aztec defense, and one of the leaders of that unit joining us right now. Defensive back, starting cornerback, sophomore Leon McFadden here on Extra Sports 1360. Leon, how you doing? Good, and yourself? Well, thank you for asking. We're doing very, very well. Uh, let's talk a little bit about, before we get, get to this TCU game, I hear there's a big game coming up Saturday, but let's talk a little bit about your role, cornerback in the Rocky Long defense, yourself, Jose Perez on the other side, and, and I don't want to forget about Larry Parker and Josh Wade and all the other guys who've mixed in and played well as, at that position, but this is the really crucial spot on the Rocky Long defense, and that's cornerback, because you are going to have to spend some time on an island out there in order for this defense McFadden to work. McFadden Island? McFadden Island. Yeah, is there we the go. Revis Archipelago? There we go. McFadden Island. How has life been this year on McFadden Island? Uh, it's been great. You know, I've been focusing more on my technique. And, you know, all the corners and all the secondary this year have been communicating and you know, developing skills better than they were last year. The Aztecs uh, now on a four-game winning streak. It's their first, I believe, in over a decade uh, that they've won four straight. Talk about what you think the team has done well. And I know, and I know Brady Hoke, that there's some things that you feel like you still need to work on, even though you've been winning some games. Uh, talk about both of those aspects during the winning streak. Um, you know, this year we've, I think we've developed more team chemistry. And, you know, we're attacking each week, you know, real hard. And it doesn't matter who the opponent is. You know, we're focusing on what we need to do. And also, you know, everybody's, um, everybody's understanding the coaching staff and what is asked, asked for. Leon McFadden, along with Jose Perez, uh, again, these two Aztec cornerbacks covering man-to-man a lot all season long. And I think that the, there's a statistic, Ben, it's, it's called pass breakups. And it may not seem like a very significant statistic to a lot of people, but it basically means you're a guy that's in the secondary and you're getting your hands and knocking balls away. And these two guys rank number one and two in the entire Mountain West Conference. So Leon McFadden, Jose Perez, we're visiting with Leon McFadden right now. You guys have been tested all year long, and you've really been up to the challenge, it seems like, Leon. Yes. I mean, we are. yeah. I mean, do you go into every game assuming that hey, we're playing man to man? We've got this three three five deal, so teams are going to try and get us isolated. Yes, we we approach every game with the mentality of nobody when the ball's in the air, it's ours. <laughs> How about when the runner is in the backfield? He's yours. Another statistic from Leon McFadden that I think is impressive this year: six or seven tackles for losses. Don't see that from a cornerback very often, Leon. <laughs> Yeah, well, all, all corners have to support the run also. Leon, let's talk a little bit about TCU on Saturday. Uh, they're ranked third in the country, but I don't think there's anyone on earth who can tell you for sure. This could very well be the best college football team in America. Are you going into that game with that, that knowledge, knowing you guys might have a you know, chance to play and, who knows, even beat the best in the country this week? We're approaching this week as we approach every week. You know, We're going to practice hard on the work days, Tuesdays and Wednesdays and prepare ourselves like we've been doing the whole season. Leon McFadden is from Inglewood, California. Did you know anything uh, growing up, going to Laker games? I'm just guessing you were a Laker fan. I don't know why I just guessed that. But uh, when you grew uh, up, were you? Yeah, I, I grew up going to Laker games, going to race, uh, horse races at Hollywood Park. There you go. Okay, there's, there's our Inglewood tie. Uh, but did you know anything about San Diego State at all? Uh, yeah, I found out about San Diego State uh, my junior year of high school. Okay, so so you were that they came and recruited. I mean, what go into your decision to come to San Diego State a couple of years ago, Leon? Uh, I felt that it was the best you know fit for me, and uh, it was in California, far away from home, but I got close enough, and it was just the opportunity for me to you know go there and you know develop my skills. Isn't one of the nice things about uh, growing up in Southern California and playing at San Diego State is that your family, friends, they still get to come and see you play. I know I've seen your parents on some of the road trips. They're really terrific. Uh, but just to get an opportunity to, to have them there and watch you play. Yes, it's, it's real lovely. That's awesome. Well, Leon, uh, we wish you guys the best of luck here against TCU on Saturday. How confident are you guys heading into this game? Oh, we're very confident, uh, as we are every week. I mean, it's got to be hard, though, when you look at the scores. You know, TCU barely gives up, you know, three points a game during the season. You know, that does, it doesn't strike any fear into the heart of an Aztec, right? No, they're a good team, but we're going to approach approach the game, like like I said, 
par like every week. All right, Leon. We appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us. Best of luck, right. buddy.